Hi everyone, this is Dave from geekanoids.co.uk and this is my review of the Cowan i9 MP3 player. Now if you want an alternative to the Apple iPod Nano then you really shouldn't need to look any further than this tiny little MP3 player. Now I'm going to show you the player in more detail in a short while but I just want to pop that to one side and show you what else you get inside the packaging. Now around the back here you get some little sponges for your earphones. You also get the earphones themselves. Now, they're not bad uh, earphones as bundled accessories go. Uh, certainly better than the bundled ones with the Apple iPod, uh, but you can use any earphones with the i9 because they use a standard 3.5 millimeter jack. Now, also in this little package, we get the USB cable used for transferring your files to the device and then you also get a free audiobook voucher from audiobook.com sorry from audible.com and then we get some extra information including a printed quick start guide which is nice to see so many manufacturers don't give you any idea unless you put a CD with a PDF manual on your computer so getting that printed manual is a very nice addition in the bottom of this little section of the case here you also get some uh, drivers on the uh, disc these are USB drivers for Windows uh, it's worth noting that you can drag and drop files to this player uh, on either a Windows computer or a Mac so uh, you don't need the drivers for Mac use but certainly for Windows you will need to install those drivers so I'm going to show you a close-up look of the i9 now and it's got some tiny dimensions, very comparable to the iPod Nano but it, it feels a lot nicer in the hand. It measures just 95 millimeters from top to bottom, 43 millimeters from left to right and the thickness is just under 9 millimeters, 8.9 millimeters thick. Now this M button here takes you back to the main menu on the user interface We've got a sliding switch here for turning the unit on and also locking the touch sensitive control panel which I'll show you in a, a short while. The back's completely clear, it doesn't have a built-in video camera like the iPod Nano but I don't think that's too much to worry about. This side of the unit has got the built-in microphone because you can record voice memos, it's also got a rocker switch for the volume. Bottom of the device, this is where you've got the uh, three and a half mil headphone jack. We've also got a small lanyard connection there and then underneath this little uh, cover here is the mini USB connection for connecting the device to your computer. Top of the unit completely blank, no controls on there. And then let's show you the actual device itself. Let's turn this on. Now the screen is absolutely stunning. It's a two inch screen 320 by 240 pixels in resolution and the control is via this touch sensitive area at the bottom of the unit. Now there's no touch sensitive screen it's just the touch sensitive controls here so we've got this diagonal arrangement where we scroll up and down the various features. We've also got a back control and a play and pause control. The only other thing on the front of the unit is the little tiny built-in speaker here which automatically mutes when you plug in some headphones. Now just going up from top to bottom we've got a settings menu. We've next one down got a flash option because this will play flash games. We've also got the recorder for voice memos. Next one down we've got a radio because it's got an FM radio built in. Then we've got a documents viewer. This will display text documents not fantastic on the tiny little display but nice to have the feature there. Then we've got pictures menu because it will play back your photos as well. Next one down is the videos menu. Now this supports AVI, WMV, ASF and XFID files so good choice when it come, comes to playing back videos. And the last selection there is the music menu. This will play back MP3 files 
plus some rarer formats as well. It supports FLAC, WAV and OGG formats as well. So you've got some nice additional formats for playback. Now to go into this music menu, we're going to tap play and it goes into the audio menu. It displays cover art for the currently selected album. If I push play now, it will start playing back. I'm just going to put the volume up so you can hear that built-in speaker a little bit. And we can pause it again with that same button. Pushing the M button on the side takes it back to the main menu. I'm just going to show you a little bit of video playing back as well. I go into there, I've got some sample videos on here. And although it's not fantastic, I think you'll agree that that screen is pretty darn good at playing back video. I've been impressed with the screen. It's uh, small at two inches, but for the occasional video watch, it's absolutely fine. Now, while that's playing, I'm just gonna talk you through the pricing options on the um, uh, Cohen i9 MP3 player. The eight gigabyte version is gonna cost you 99 pounds in the UK, $130 in the US, 16 gigabyte, is going to cost you around £125 in the UK or $170 in the US. Now for that money you're getting a tiny, very svelte looking MP3 player with 29 hours of music playback. In my tests I actually exceeded that and got 30 hours of playback and around 7 hours of video. In my tests on one of them I got 6.5 hours of video and in my other tests, I got around 5.7, sorry, five and three quarter hours of video. The price makes this a very appealing MP3 player. It does video very well too, and the audio quality is absolutely fantastic. It's certainly well worth checking out the Cohen Audio i9 MP3 player. Well, thanks very much for listening. Come back soon and check out more reviews on geekanoids.co.uk. This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.